Hey Yogi, welcome to this little retreat for the neck and spine, um, which is how I'm trying to approach this class. So uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome, I'm Re. If you are returning, you'll notice I'm not in my usual filming space and I don't have my two big basset hounds. Um, I'm actually in the French Alps hosting a yoga retreat with my yoga partner, Yoga Flow Stacy. Um, and I thought I would just film a little snippet of some of the uh, evening sort of very unwinding class styles that we're offering here for our retreat goers and I thought I would share that with with you um, especially because there's a few of my students that couldn't make this retreat for various reasons so uh, this is for a little retreat at home in 15 minutes which you can enjoy for your neck and your spine so I wanted to show you the beautiful setting, so it probably will be a little bit dark, but you're not going to see me. This is going to be very much on our backs and on our bellies, um, so you could almost just listen and really go inward. I have put a blanket out on my mat. I would invite you to do so, just because we're going to spend a little bit of time on the mat, uh, laying down prone and supine, so it might just feel nice. Before we go uh, into this class, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do. And other than that, grab a blanket, make yourself comfortable, and um, just come to sitting. So meet me um, as you are on the mat. Close down the eyes, or keep your gaze nice and soft. And as you take an inhale through your nose, just draw your shoulders up towards your ears. As you exhale, roll them back and down. Imagine those wing-like bones, your scapula just lifting and spreading. So inhale to lift and exhale, send them back and down. Bring them together, bring your wings together on your back body. Inhale, shoulders reach up, they're chasing the base of your ears. Exhale, send them back and down, beautiful. Let your palms land wherever they're going to. Let's just take three nice breaths together here. So exhale through your mouth, let go of any stale air. Nice, and then inhaling through your nose. Fill your chest, but also try to go deep down into the belly. Try and fill your ribs, your belly, your hips with air. And then exhale through the nose. Inhale through your nose. Visualize that breath moving through the throat, under the collarbones, through your rib cage, into your diaphragm and just expanding you north, south, east and west and then gently exhale. Send it all the other way. Inhale, fill yourself up. Imagine you're getting bigger like a balloon as it expands. Exhale. Beautiful. Your eyes can stay closed or you can blink them open. From here, Clasp your hands behind your back. Have your right thumb on top and clasp them nice and tight. And then as you inhale, start to send the hands away from you to lift the chest. So I'll just turn so you can see this. So you're just trying to send the hands back behind you. It doesn't need to be a massive expression. We're just opening through the chest. As you exhale, take the little clasp and take it over towards the right. Draw your right elbow back. And then let your right ear fall towards your right shoulder. Let that left side of you feel some sensation. If it feels good, you could start to move your head. Try to keep yourself over to the right, but you could sway here just to almost just loosen up anything that's feeling a little bit stuck there on that left side. Nice. 
and then come back through to your center. Take your arms back behind you, release the bind, take the clasp the other way. So this time your left thumb will go on top, clasp the hands. As you inhale, send your hands away from the body so your arms will work to straighten, your chest is rising, your collarbones are broad. As you exhale, you take the little clasp over towards the left. It doesn't need to go over, you know, the left hip exactly, but you're just sending it over in that direction. And then your left ear is just gonna fall down towards that left shoulder. Draw your left elbow back, and then just feel like you could declutter the right side. Letting the right side kind of work through any bits that are feeling stuck and start to clear them out, start to sweep out some space to unblock anything. We hold so much in our necks because of our general kind of tech lifestyles that our posture obviously takes a bit of a battering for it and it, it can just show up in the neck a lot. So feel free to sway gently and just explore. Where do you find that sensation? Where do you find that resistance that you just want to work through? Nice, and then from here, come back to center. Release the hands, release the clasp. Nice. From here, sweep the arms up. Look up, so your drishti goes to your fingers. As you exhale, we're just going to pull your elbows down. So we're not flaring too much here. We're just pulling the elbows down towards our hips. Inhale, come up. Exhale, pull down. Last one of these. Inhale, reach all the way up. Imagine that your armpits are getting longer. Exhale, elbows come down and release. Nice, give that a little bit of a shake there. And then make your way down onto your belly. So come down nice and gently, coming down. Cool. And then from here, coming into a nice gentle-ish sphinx pose. So you don't need to be like in a, in a really deep sphinx. So you want to have your elbows bent to 90 degrees roughly, and you want to get them as close under your shoulders as you can. Have your hands just resting down in a, in a regular position. So just planting them down. And then we're just gently going to lift and shine the collarbones. A gentle tuck of the tailbone here will just help to not feel like your low back is taking all the work. And just lift here. Take a deep inhale, fill up. And exhale. Nice. On your next inhale, start to lift your chin. Your gaze will follow, so your head is kind of going to lift up. Nice. And then keep your gaze going. So keep your chin lifted, your gaze will keep going as far as it can. As you exhale, you're going to slowly reverse that. So slowly, gaze will start to drop as your chin starts to drop. Chin to chest. Inhale, come up. And this is a slow, meticulous movement as we move the cervical spine. So we're not Throw in the head up and back. Exhale, reverse. We're just gently kind of moving with intention or that's the aim. Inhale to come up. Exhale, come down. Next inhale, go over to the right. And then let's start to look back behind your right shoulder. As you then start to take your gaze up, you're gonna come around so you're looking up to the center and then you're gonna look over your left shoulder. Left chin comes down to the left side of your chest. Roll through center. Pause. Inhale, go the other way. So slowly, chin scrapes along the collarbone to the left. Now start to look over your left shoulder. Imagine you're trying to pour water out of your left ear and then roll up gently, looking up to the sky or the ceiling. And then slowly start to turn. So now you're trying to pour water out of your right ear 
behind you, behind your right shoulder. Then chin to chest. On the right side, you skirt along. Come back to center. Nice. And then slowly bring the head up to neutral. Beautiful. Come all the way down. Come all the way down onto your bellies. Make a pillow with your hands and just let your forehead rest for a moment. Let your shoulders relax. Try not to hold on to them. So tempting. <laughs> we seek to hold on to the body at all times often, but in this practice, we want to let the body be supported, but we want to just let go of it and try not to have, have that forceful hold. From here, take your right arm straight out into a T. Next, we're going to take the left hand under the left shoulder and gently roll over so that our left hip stacks onto our right. And then you can just let your head bow or you let your head go to to the mat, to the blanket. Feel free to let that left foot sweep behind you and just come into either it being just open or maybe plant the left foot down. Opening through that left knee, sending that left knee wide to open the left hip. Be gentle here. The focus is in our upper body for this. Slowly, if you've got the leg bent, we straighten, replant, and come back through the center. Bring the right hand in, and then just lower your head to the mat. Come into neutral for a moment. Then left arm goes straight out. So the arm is coming straight out of your left socket. So wrist, elbow, and shoulder are all in line, one line. Push off your right hand, roll over your left hip, right hip stacks on top. Let your head gently rest to the mat or the blanket. And try to look straight um, to the right side. So try not to look down at your feet. Try, we're aiming to keep the spine in neutral here as much as we can, the neck at least. And then bend your right knee if you want to take the foot behind you, you can. Of course, that is optional. Well, <laughs> it's all optional. <laughs> but that is very much just going to intensify, but it's not necessary if that feels a bit too much right now. Keep breathing nice and gently here. See if you can send your breath into that right lung in particular, and then down into the right hip bone. Working your intention on that right side as you open it up. Slowly come back to center. Slowly roll back. And then bring that left hand underneath your left shoulder. Bring the forehead back down to the mat. Come into a bit of neutral for a moment. Gently on the next inhale. Start to lift the chest, lift the head. Take the left arm across to the right. And then cross your right arm up and over it. The right arm goes to the left. So we're just crossing our arms in front of us. And then start to walk the fingertips away from each other. You can keep the head lifted if this feels enough. If you want more, you're gonna take your chin up and over your right top of your arm and let it hang heavy. This will mess with my mic, so I won't, I won't do that until I've finished guiding you. So yeah, you walk your chin forward and then just gently let it rest. As it gets there, just notice how it feels. Whether it feels too intense, and if so, you're gonna come back out of it. We are looking for tension here. We're seeking tension, but we don't want it to be really uncomfortable. We wanna be able to breathe through the tension. So you are the only person that knows where you are, where you are with that. 
So just be guided by that. Can you still breathe in this moment? If the answer is no, then just give a little. Feel your belly. Really push away into the mat as you inhale. And then feel yourself move a little bit closer to the earth on the exhale. Two more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly unwind. Sweep the right arm up and back underneath your shoulder. Sweep the left arm around and underneath your left shoulder. Nice. And then we'll change sides. So this time your left, uh, your right arm is going to go underneath. So right arm is going to go over to the left side. And then you're going to take your left arm, sweep it over, bring the left fingers back over to the right. So this time your left arm is the one on top. Really squeeze here. Try and drive your or walk your fingers as far away from one another as they will go. Take an inhale. And exhale. You can let same instructions really you can hold your head here or you could let your chin just work to go over the top of that left arm just notice how the weight being added to the arm changes the intensity in the shoulder stretch and modulate where you need to relax a little where you need to here. Working into an intensity that works. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Send the next inhale down into the toes. Allow that air to really travel through the whole body and not just end at the belly. And then exhale. On your next inhale, start to lift the head and gently sweep that left arm over to the left. Sweep the right arm over to the right. Bring the arms into a T. Let the hand, uh, let the head, sorry, fall to the mat. And then gently make your way onto your back. So you can just turn here and wriggle your way onto your back. You can bend the knees and drop the feet. We're going to come into a variation of Gomukhasana, so with the arms. Um, but we're just going to be using our body to provide, um, to provide the external force rather than catching the hands as we would often do, or the strap if you often do that. So we'll start with the right arm first. So sweep your right arm up and over your head. And then try and have your palm flat. And you want the pinky finger on the inside. So we've got that big external rotation through that right shoulder. So palm is working to be flat here. And then we'll roll onto the left side. So much so that we've got enough space to bend the right elbow and let that right palm land somewhere uh, in between the shoulder blades. Slowly then roll so that your 
body is now almost going to clamp that right palm. So you've got the palm side on your back. And then feel free to take your um, hand and give yourself a self-adjustment where you're just going to roll the top of that arm in. Nice. And for the right, uh, the left hand, we'll take it out to the left and have the palm down and try and almost spin the top of that left shoulder inwards. So we're kind of creating that nice internal rotation for the bottom arm. Then slowly roll to the right. And this time, the back of the hand is going to meet. Now, don't worry about like clasping the hands. Certainly we don't want to clasp them. They can touch, but you don't need to clasp because we are then going to roll back onto our back. Finding this Gomukhasana place with our arms. It might feel nice to keep the knees bent and the feet planted. And Really, really try not to hold on to anything here. Allow the arm muscles, the shoulder, the neck, just allow it all to be heavy. Allow the weight of your body only to be the driving force here and not you holding on to anywhere. It's very tempting to start to tense various muscles here. We just want them to have this passive stretch. Allowing our body to provide us the support. Couple more breaths here. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. On your next inhale, very gently start to lift your chest so you've got a little bit of space to slide out one hand, slide out the other, and then just take the arms out into a T. Allow them to be in a place without any effort, without any force. And then setting up to try on the other side. So again, that left hand is going to, so the palm will sweep up and then palm is flat towards the floor. Pinky fingers are pointing inward. So the pinky finger is nearest to your head. The thumb is on the other side. Yeah, we've got this big open here. And rolling on to the right to allow us to bend that left elbow and just land wherever it lands, yeah? That left palm is gonna just come to where it comes. Don't worry awfully about depth and like, you know, could I grab for this? Just let it be what it's gonna be. The right hand will come alongside the body, palm down and turn the right shoulder slightly in. So you kind of top of the shoulder, top of the theme, uh, top of the humerus is just rolling inwards. Now roll onto your left, bend your right elbow, and then just let the back of your right hand go as high up your back as it will. If you've got it underneath your left hand, great, but if you don't, it absolutely doesn't matter. And then roll back. And you may, may need to fidget a little until you find a good spot. <laughs> this is my, my right arm does not like being in internal rotation. My left arm is not as First, it's okay, but my right really just dislikes it. So this one is more intense for me. So <laughs> notice which side, if any, is more intense for you. And, you know, it's these places in the practice where we find the stillness. I think we can really explore the differences. Let everything be heavy here. Two more breaths to finish this side. Inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly lift your chest. Slowly wiggle your hands out. Let the palms face up. Let the arms go out to your T. And then come down into a Shavasana. Feel free to take any Shavasana that you like. And stay here for as long as you feel called to. The intention here is to give you a break <laughs> and to allow your shoulders and your neck to feel at ease. So enjoy whatever comes up for you in this Shavasana. And I hope it's brought you a little sense of an alpine retreat into your day. This is where I will leave you, Yogi. As always, thank you for joining me. I hope to see you on the channel again soon. Thank you.